joining physical science in progress. We took up questions, uh, but we're going to just start the last section of new material for the whole course. Heat of reaction calculations. We'll see more about that in a second. Heat of reaction calculations. Now, using a balanced reaction with energy is really what this is all about. We're practicing the words and no one has to prepare for. If energy is on the right hand side of this product, the two is exiting the reaction. See, exiting exothermal. I don't need this here, but I need to put this down. Exothermal. Because we're trying to get that word in our head, that's what it means. Anyway, given that this is aluminum and oxygen combined to make aluminum oxide, keep out the terms if you're not quite Find the energy release in decimal seven eight moles of aluminum. Now assume that the four, the three, the two, the balance numbers are per mole. Okay? And that's the way I'll always do it. So this is basically using a previous unit, proteomics, balance reaction. I start with the given item, as usual. Already in mold because if this was in grab, I would be converting. And I say I have information about a little bit of I want to get a little information on the of, uh, about a little bit and get energy. I can go with this. Just like before, but energy is not a chemical. So let's sort of change our method. Four moles of aluminum. Like I said, the balance numbers represent the whole ratio. And how much energy a four moles react? According to this, four moles react, give off, keep out the term of the chemical. So instead of a chemical, we're going to change it to a chemical, which means the energy. Same method as before. Three, 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 nine. And I think we solved the problem. Mole star. When I put it in my calculator, I'll get more accuracy than I expect. Do it seven eight. I get. I'm going to write this up as small because I can see six. Oh, four. I'm only going to two significant digits. So I can collect them at the time. Does that make sense? Yeah. I can't deal with that. Six, seven, seven, eight. Oh crap. So I'm right. Yes, you do. Thank you. Yes, yeah. It's fifty one point. I'm just so excited about these responses temperatures, 651.82. I even have the energy written out here because I worked them out ahead of time. I did and looked out. Okay, I'm going to use divide by four. Sorry, I'm going to through the wrong way. This question I would have gotten one out of the I'm going to use, let's just put six fifty one though, I wouldn't mark you wrong. I'm to you about this. The expectation is that next year is conflict. So much that it won't be a big deal when you do that next year. Okay? If you're required, our business is done. Keep the class. I had Grade four, that. I know 
Okay, find the energy release now in the underground. 115 grams aluminum oxide. 115 grams. Aluminum oxide is Al2O3. If you don't have more, you got to get more. And we don't have more. I have had this up there from about 1.96. Because we know this. We've done, we have to know from our own. Now we have moles of aluminum oxide for one part. We want to get rid of information about aluminum oxide. So in order to do aluminum oxide, ready to put the word mole in there. And that's two moles of aluminum oxide in mass for 3,736.6. When I multiply that out, I'll put the, I get 1,883, but I might be using all that. I use three digits, so 18 kilos. But I would still get full marks by keeping it. Yeah. Okay. I will find the heat formation of a mole of aluminum oxide. Yep, I'll do that. Maybe it was seven bucks. So we're going to figure this out. First, we'll write the equation, and then we'll do the math. I look up here. You know, this is for two more. So to make this for one more, what do we have to do to every number on here? How do you make a two into a one? I'm just thinking of it as half. So, yeah, I'll multiply by half. Okay, so two AL, three has O2. Now, I didn't have solids and gas in there, but I could go on. I didn't need to do that. Now the big thing is, is that delta H elimination. Now, we also divide that 3,339.6 by 2. That's not But it was, as you said, natural thermos, right? It's on the right hand side. So what's the side of this angle? This formation. Positive or negative? It's on the right hand side. Next one is there. The six energy is on the right hand side. We know it's divided by two for the number, but it's positive or negative. Negative, yeah. One is quite easy. Let's say it on that. Negative. Multiply, divide that by two. Eighteen three nine point six divided by two. Divide everything by two. Get sixteen sixty nine point six. I'm going to do this. 
intelligible per mole it's not required to put per mole of CO2 equation. Just to emphasize that is for that specific element, for one mole of nitrogen. Incidentally, it's for two moles of AL or three and a half moles of A2. Okay. And on the flip side, I have two questions I'd like you guys to look at. I'll just flip in a second, though. Don't like that to spread it just through there. It's getting warm. Okay. I'm going to just run down answers for this. And they'll be rounded to like what you see. I have just put these here and you can jot them down so you know your total right. How much does it produce? 5,200 kilojoules. Let's work this out. I think you can get your 5,200, but I'm not going to get it. This one here, 110 grams. That's round. Feel it here. Jot these answers down so you know you're doing it right. Lastly, this one is 36 grams of water. So, on your free set, I guess, and you're going to go work on 